Hello again, everyone. So this uh, YouTube channel is getting more and more interesting. I'm learning all about all kinds of things, and I'm being told to ask you to please subscribe. Uh, apparently, this is very easily done, and I guess it's important. Um, I even understand it myself, and I do have a Patreon channel as well, which I'm supposed to invite you to. So if you can, uh, please do. If you like what's going on here, that's great. Um, I hope you do. And today I brought out one of the rifles that I tend to shoot a lot and you don't find them. It's the Marlin Model 62. It's a tipping block lever action and we've previously looked, previously looked at the Model 99 Savage which locks in a similar way. I've had this conversation a few times with gun people and um, it's not always clear how mechanisms work but since I've worked on the 99 a lot I thought I'll bring it out and show you the 62. There was also a Marlin 56, which was a rim fire, I think, and then the 62, which was a center fire. This one's in 30 carbine. They also made it in 256 Winchester Magnum. I had that rifle too and then stupidly sold it like all good things. And they made the 62, I forget until when, but like all excellent things, had to be discontinued. So you'll have to look for it on the used gun market. But as far as a practical, accurate, excellent 30 carbine rifle other than the M1, um, which has some deficiencies, I think, this is, this is a superb gun. So we'll go right to the Model 62 and you can see, um, oh, this has that uh, pivoting weaver scope mount that I, I like this scope mount. They, I'm not sure they make it anymore, but it, it works very well. These are just, it's just spring steel that snaps the scope back on to the base. And uh, this is one of those scope chief two and a half powers with the post reticle. I like that post reticle. I find the post is excellent. I don't know why they don't offer it anymore. Anyhow, so operation of the gun, quite simple. You pull the, they call it lever matic because it's so quick and it, and it is quick. Um, you'll see the bolt if you watch here you'll see the bolt tip up at the back and that's how it's locked so the bolt is trapped here and um, it's exceptionally strong could handle a lot more pressure than the 30 carbine removable magazine box magazine nothing exceptional I forget how many rounds five some five or so and uh, steel receiver and then just I, I didn't want to take it apart because then I'd have to put put it back together to show it working um, in the video so I thought it's probably easier for me to show you the um, model 99 and if you can remember the visual images of a moment ago this is a much bigger action but you can see how the bolt tips up at the back and this is the John Savage invention that that carried for a hundred years or or longer still excellent st still exceptionally strong um, and it wasn't it wasn't simple to get this all to work. So what I did is I I worked on these for so long. Um, I always found them interesting. It's probably easiest for me to set it down on the table, and then you can watch the how the lever pulls the bolt back, and as the bolt goes forward, this is becomes this is the striker. This contacts the sear. And just watch this. This is the key part that was hard to design. So as the bolt tips up here, there's the sear. There's your sear engagement for the trigger. And if you watch closely, it gets pulled down. And the trigger pull is quite decent. And because it's a striker, there's no, there's no hammer. Uh, lock time is very fast. So obviously, if you see this working, um, and, and decide that you'd like to make a rifle for a smaller cartridge, it's easy to, to transfer these principles, which is what they did for the Marlin. And they did it later, Ruger did it later for the 9644, I believe. I had one of those. This is just the safety here. Anyway, I've always liked these Savages just because of how clever they are. And um, to get everything to work, and to get the relationship of trigger and barrel. So some people think that the, the action is really long. So I, I took out this beautiful Husqvarna just to show you. It's not really long. 
And the, the main thing to notice is where does the where does the barrel begin? So you can see the Mauser is here, here. The trigger is here. So some people think that this is a lot further forward on the Savage because of where the lever is located. But it's all all the interrelationships are are fine. From my angle, it's a little bit hard to work that initial movement of the lever. But it is this is not difficult. Um, now I'm not firing the action. It's, even that's minimal. Anyhow, Savage 99, and then you can see the uh, Levermatic Model 62 adapted that concept. And um, by the way, I've seen two Model 99s where the owners went to the trouble of many, make turning this into a a uh, one piece gun stock, which was really an achievement. Some of the things I see people do. I just admire that they take the time and it, it looks maybe not too complicated but there are a whole bunch of things they had to do to get the one piece stock but they did it and the 9644 is a one piece stock that it tips up just like this and um, and then uh, again sometimes I make big mistakes and I saw this Savage 99 in a miniature action um, I can't remember exactly where it was, it was a long time ago, but um, I handled the rifle, I should have purchased it, I just didn't have money at the time. And ever since then, I, I'm always hoping at a gun show or somewhere or in a magazine or at an auction, I'll run into that miniature 99 or, or something like it. I mean, there must have been more than one made. And I don't even remember the cartridge, but it, it was just a delightful little rifle as miniature guns tend to be and I'm not talking that it was silly it was it was properly scaled it was just it's like kind of like half this maybe it was in 3220 um, or 2520 but if you ever you know if you ever hear of one or see one uh, drop me a line it'd be interesting uh, so yeah I, it's hard to say exactly what this is video is about except that it focuses on the Marlin 62 and the 22 version of this rifle, which was also great. These are scarce. Um, this one's in, I think, great shape. I've shot this a lot, and uh, it's it's just a unique gun, and I like that 30 carbine. Just an excellent caliber. In fact, if Marlin doesn't have anything better to do, that maybe they should just reintroduce these. They were they were, you know, a lot of ways ahead of their time. So uh, there there you have it. Um, oh, and this lever. Um, no, even the lever. Yeah, I checked. It's all steel. It's it's um, it's just the way a gun should be made. Excellent. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And like I said at the beginning, please uh, subscribe. Um, I have very few subscribers because I'm not vocal enough about get, getting you to subscribe. And I, I don't know what's wrong with me that I can't say, say those words so easily. But please do. And if you can, on Patreon, that would be great. We talk about other things there. And it tends to be more personal because I, I go to that site more often. You know, it's less heavily subscribed. And you can ask me things and ask me to review guns or what have you on Patreon, um, which is kind of nice for me as well. Uh, running the main channel is a bit like running, I guess, a TV station. And you don't get to know everybody even if you want to. So anyhow, that's my little pitch. And um, I hope you can do something. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.